Hi guys, Battlegroup Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action. And today we are playing Atlantic Fleet, still doing our Royal Navy campaign. We were at battle number 13, where we are going to be up against two light cruisers and a destroyer off the S South American coast. Um, we're taking all three of our subs. I mean, I could... I could buy something. I mean, I certainly have enough for now. A heavy cruiser. As soon as I get over there. Yeah. A Berwick. County class heavy cruiser. I could totally get one of those. Eight. Eight inch guns. It's not bad, but I'm going to see what I can do with my three mediocre submarines. And this is at evening, partly cloudy. In the evening, not at evening. But they does have the sunlight. All right, Truant and Thrasher are in a pretty good position. Triton will struggle to keep up. So, Thrasher here is going to target the Z-23. So, let's get that turn going. I think we are in same turn torpedo range. So what I'm going to do here... Oh, right, wrong. There we go. And now we're going to move over to 22.7. 22.7! Come on, Battle Group. And I'll launch all of those. Just two in that direction. Because these should hit. What? Okay. Wow. Okay then. Yep, Triton here. Just gonna keep up. Or keep up. Leipzig. Can I even get something? 43.2. I'm not sure I actually can. Oh. Okay. Right at the edge, so I can go 45. I've got a 90 degree cone for launching torpedoes in the front. I do have the rear tubes that I only found out about just a couple of episodes ago. So yeah, let's launch three there. That destroyer will pick up. And all sorts of shit is about to hit the fan. Hmm. It's a hard turn. Well, there goes the Z-23. Oh, those torpedoes missed. Uh, yep. And we're going to hold our flower. Flower? Fire! Keep up. Uh, 
Alright, so you turned right towards me, so... We're, we're still gonna do this. 18.1? Sure about that. Only two. Because I might have to... definitely slow him down. Her down. That ship. And like a true submarine, we're just gonna bide our time. Not slowing down at all, huh? and get rid of you, boy. Girl? Yeah, I think it was a good call. Yes. Bye. Goodbye, Leipzig. my chips on the table for this attack. Spacebar. Yep, I thought you were going to turn away. exploding. You just took four torpedoes right in the side. You what? Alright. I'm turning right the hell around. And I'm going to use my rear tubes. I should have dived. Well, shit. Oh, too much turn. I like that one's going to keep up anyways. More guns? No, not more guns. Two 
22.4. Yes. All right. Turn to port, please. That's not port. Well, two will hit. I guess the subs are working out. Our renown earned is now up into the 40s. Three stars for this battle. Battle number 14 off the West African coast. And we've got ooh, the Heavy Cruiser Admiral Hipper, and once again, the Destroyer Z-31. Alright. Once again, the Germans have the initiative, but we're in submarines, so they're not going to be able to do much. I might not be able to do much. Alright, Truant can handle the Z-31 pretty well. Admiral Hipper, though. Alright. I am on the Thrasher. Okay. So, technically in range of the Admiral Hipper. But, I'm going to hold my fire for now. Similar situation here with the Triton. I think what I'm going to do is both the Triton and the Thrasher are going to fire basically a cross crossfire. It's just going to be a zigzag of torpedoes right where the uh, Admiral Hipper is supposed to be. And Truant should be able to handle the Z-31 all by herself. Alright, Truant. Let's go ahead and launch. Make them blind. 5.7. I'll just use the scroll wheel here. I'll launch five. That, that should be enough to completely cover that, that poor, poor soul in torpedoes. Move all, huh? Bye! Holy shit. Yeah, if the entire fleet moves all... They, it's basically showing that they have no fucking clue what is about to go down. And, uh, everybody else will just continue sailing towards the hipper. 
Oh my. Three angles. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't launch in the last two turns. Although I, I think because of their speed, they would have gotten there. Hmm. Alright. Let's go ahead and launch all of our torpedoes. 357.1. And use a scroll wheel. And I will also have one leading. That is a fat... Well, actually, it's a narrow spread, but, uh... Yeah. That's gonna... That is going to mess him up. Oh, right. 6.4 and one to lead I mean there's no way this guy is going to escape this right I mean, this has to be one of the deadliest... I mean, I don't even know. You know, I don't even know. Yep, hard turn. Holy shit, are you kidding? Are you kidding? How fucking maneuverable are you? Alright, so I'm going to turn to this angle. Actually, I'll probably turn to hard to starboard one more time. Get my rear tubes lined up. Definitely low in the water right there, but that was only two torpedo hits. These might make it. Actually, I'm pretty sure they will. I might not have anything to fear at all. Hmm. Emperor is heading away from Triton. So I will continue going straight. And this one, hard to starboard. Sure. I'll launch one. I mean, I had it loaded, and it was ready to go. Oh, yeah. Bye. got a conflagration. Look at that. Admiral Hipper is under a mushroom cloud. So, 
this is one of the things I do like about Atlantic Fleet. You can click on the ship and watch it slip under the waves. And we ended up destroying three turrets. Only the rear turret was still functional. Well, okay then. Gosh, it's only been t almost 21 minutes. So... I don't know. Let's see what the next one is. A threefer. Ooh. Off the... That is mostly America. I think Maine ends right about there. So Nova Scotia is definitely in, in the encounter. So we are closer to Nova Scotia. So I'm going to say Canadian waters. Anyway, he's... <laughs> Ooh. Königsberg, Karlsruhe, and Köln. All of them light cruisers. I've got 54,000 renown. Which is exactly enough for an illustrious class aircraft carrier. Hood is seventy thousand. Renown is fifty-two. I'm I'm not getting a renown class battle cruiser. Not even f against the cruisers because this thing will be completely useless when I get to battleships. I mean, if you watched my Kriegsmarine playthrough, you'd know that I always ended up sinking the renown in like three salvos. Except for that one time that was really weird. Looking forward to getting the lion. That is 150,000 renown. And I'm also looking forward to the Nelson. No, no, yeah, I'll definitely get Nelson. Turret armor is thicker. And the deck armor is thicker. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't even outwardly express my inner monologue. I was just considering about endgame battleships. Oh, I could get a submarine! Yeah, I think I'm just going to avoid cruisers altogether. And escort carriers. I guess the illustrious is the super carrier for the game. 48 aircraft. Well, the Courageous also has 48. Three inch belt, one inch deck. Four and a half inch belt and a three inch deck. 30 and a half knots, 30 knots. 26,000 tons, 23,000 tons. Huh. Well then. Ah, uh, 25 minutes now. Let's go. Oh, it's in a storm too. Oh, yes. 
Ah, always one lagging. Okay, Konigsberg is in a very good spot to go down, I think, immediately. Forty-six point nine, three forty-six point nine. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Less than two thousand. <laughs> Bye. That. That was a very good initial salvo. I mean, really fucking good. I liked that. That felt good. Of course, Triton. Just gonna shadow. And the Truant is targeting Karlsruhe. I can barely see myself. I gotta zoom way in to see my silhouette. Oh, too much turn. I'm going to hold off since Karlsruhe is pretty much on a cl well, a very close intercept, even closer. I think you are giving me a damn near perfect broadside now. Alright, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be looking at you now, Colm. Broadside there. Tell you what, buddy. Tell you what. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this. Let's get a torpedo hitting under each turret and the engine. Get two under the engine. Into the engine. Yeah. You are not dead? What? Guy's taking forever to slip under. I mean, really, you should have gone the fuck down. Bye. I mean, you were 
absolutely crippled. I'm pretty sure that... Hold on, I wasn't done looking at that. I'm pretty sure that... Actually, no, never mind. I did not damage... Actually... I probably did damage this drive shaft. Can't see anything. This is horrible lighting. But, you've got one hole there. Destroyed turret. Uh, five holes there. Destroyed engine. And two holes here. <sighs> Stop doing that. But only the one destroyed turret. should. Colin is turning away. Launching kind of a widespread. I'm expecting him to continue his turn away. Although if he goes straight or turns in, he's also going to hit torpedoes. I can barely see him, but... I'm going to head in this direction in case he turns all the way around. Might not. Oh crap, I forgot to go forward again. Oh. Well, that's two hits. Three? Two. What? Yeah, two. That was only two torpedoes. That was only two. How? How did the other one take six torpedoes before going down? This one hit two basically on a glancing blow. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I hit the powder room or something. No, that would have made a conflagration. There'd been sparks shooting up. I don't know. That was weird, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Done in record time. So, that will be the last battle for this episode. Uh, we, we got three of them done. Three stars each. You know, just, just chomping through them. Next one will be off the western coast of South Africa. And it will be the Admiral Hipper and the Leipzig. I do have 66,000 right now. Okay, I'm looking at the difference between the Queen Elizabeth and the Revenge. The Revenge... is more heavily armored. 
but it has less secondaries. Secondaries are practically meaningless in this game for a battleship. Queen Elizabeth has a higher top speed and a higher tonnage by just a little under 3,000 tons. Oh, and also carries more ammunition for primary and secondary armament. And has spotter plane that isn't used in game. I mean, I could buy either of them. I really could take a battleship into this next engagement. But I think I want to hold off and start getting, you know, the end game battleships. Eventually a carrier, but I want battleships first. At least two. At least two battleships. And then I'll get a carrier and I will start launching airstrikes. Yeah, that'll do. So, yeah, that will... This battle will be for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this one, though. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. <clears throat> Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.